We've talked a lot today about safely loading and unloading a crane truck, deploying stabiliser legs and putting blocking under them. Under no circumstances are you to deploy your legs over a metal grate of any kind. Even if it says it's a trafficable lid and can hold the weight of a semi-trailer, don't deploy your legs on it under any circumstances. The metal of a trafficable lid will hold up, but around the edge will collapse and you'll be up for thousands in damages and you may drop your crane. So just remember the rule, find another place to unpack, never over a drain. This is a bit of damage on the, the concrete hard stand of this warehouse. Um, it could easily be attributed to a, um, a hydraulic lifting device like a crane truck or a side lifter. We wouldn't want to be accused of causing this damage and have to pay for it. Follow the correct procedure, put down your blocks, your, your mats, everything by the book every time. That won't happen to you. It's even more important if the hard stand is surfaced with bitumen. On a hot day, the stuff gets very uh, sticky and pliable. You can, you can easily punch right through the surface with your stabiliser leg and you can bet there'll be a water main, a gas main or electrical channelling down there. Don't let it be you. Stick to the process. It'll never happen. You can't trust the surface. So you always make an initial test and an assessment no matter what. Even if it's bone dry, looks rock solid, you make absolutely sure that what you're extending on is safe. Some of the clues you can look for are really obvious ones if you know to look for them. As Bob drove onto the site, he's left absolutely no tyre tracks, so he hasn't sunk into the mud at all. So that gives you a good idea that the bedrock here is well compressed and it's dry and it's safe. Um, so that'll determine how much blocking and packing he needs to use to maintain stability on a site like this. So this is the driver's side of the truck and the driver's now going to um, set up his blocks. He's going to use more packing this time. We've deliberately selected this site because it looks bad. It is ugly, it's uneven. Obviously when this site gets wet it's very dangerous and basically it's not safe.